1 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines Pakistan has strongly condemned the ballistic missiles attack on Saudi Arabia. The Election Commission of Pakistan has declared null and void the intra party polls of Muttahid Akami movement and removed Farooq Sattar as its convener. The United Nations has warned of a new European migrant crisis after the collapse of the Daesh across Syria and Iraq. New Zealand beat England by an innings in 49 runs in the first cricket test at Auckland today. And now the news in detail. Pakistan has strongly condemned the ballistic missiles attack on Saudi Arabia. In a statement, the Foreign Office spokesperson said Pakistan commends the government of Saudi Arabia for intercepting the missiles and limiting the casualties. The spokesperson reiterated Pakistan's full support and solidarity with the government and people of Saudi Arabia against any threats to its territorial integrity and against Harman Sharifan. The Election Commission of Pakistan has declared null and void the intra-party polls of Muttahid Akami movement. A five-member bench of the Election Commission headed by the Chief Election Commissioner, Sardar Mohammad Raza Khan, gave its short judgment in a petition filed by Khalid Magbul Siddiqui and Kamar Naveed Jamil. The Commission also removed the name of Farooq Sattar from the convenership of MQM Pakistan. The Supreme Court has sought a report from the federal government over the fee charged from overseas Pakistanis for identity cards. Hearing a case in Islamabad today, a three-member bench of the FX Court, headed by the Chief Justice, Mr. Justice Mia Saqib Nassar, said the overseas Pakistanis should also be given the right to vote. The Interior Minister, Essan Iqbal, also appeared before the bench today. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court adjourned the hearing of a case pertaining to dual nationality of government officials till Thursday. The Supreme Court today also disposed of Asma murder case. The Apex Court was informed today that the main culprit has been arrested in the case. In occupied Kashmir, the chairman of all parties, Huryat Conference, said that Igilani has appealed to the Kashmiri people to forge greater unity among their ranks to make the freedom movement a success. In a statement in Srinagar, he said certain elements on the social media are creating a wedge and sowing seeds of hatred. The old party's Huryat Conference chairman also appealed to the religious clerics, ulema and religious organizations to stop fringe elements from spreading hatred. The United Nations has warned of a new European migrant crisis after the collapse of the Thai self-described caliphate across Syria and Iraq. The head of the United Nations Food Agency, David Beasley, in an interview in Canberra, said the collapse of Daesh group's self-described caliphate in sub-Sahara Africa will threaten to trigger a new migrant crisis. He said many of the militants who fled Syria had ended up in the Sahel region and are collaborating with other extremist groups. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Dr. Michal Ben Faham Al Salami, has called on the international community to put an end to the sufferings of the Palestinian people. In a statement issued in Cairo, he said it is time to declare the state of Palestine with Jerusalem as its capital. Dr. Al Salami stressed the implementation of the United Nations resolutions to rehabilitate and compensate the Palestinian refugees. In Egypt, six militants and two security personnel have been killed in a bombing in the coastal city of Alexandria. Egypt's interior ministry in a statement said the militants belonged to the Hassam movement and were killed in a raid on the hideout in Bihera province. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack. In Siberia, the death toll in the fire at a shopping and entertainment complex in Kemirovo city has risen to 53. The Russian news agencies reported that more than 100 people were evacuated from the mall with further 27 still missing. And now news about sports. New Zealand beat England by an innings in 49 runs in the first cricket test match of the two-match series at Auckland today. The final scores, New Zealand 427 runs for the loss of eight wickets in the first innings declared. England 58 and 320 runs.
Australia beat India by 36 rounds in the fourth match of the Tri-Nation Women's T20 Series at Mumbai. Batting first, Australia scored 186 runs for the loss of five wickets in the stipulated 20 overs. India could only score 150 runs for the loss of five wickets in the allotted 20 overs. The third team participating in the tournament is England. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, go on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live radio streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.